Well, it's time for the first big test for the larder, the mighty Pasco River. Now, the D-Max has gone across and did it pretty easy. However, my larder is quite a bit lower, but you know what? I reckon my little Russian beauty queen's got this covered. He's got his floaties on. Yeah, all right, you're driving like uh, a lunatic. Have you, have you learned how to drive yet, Rick? Brakes aren't awesome. No. Go for a swim, mate. Yeah. Whoa. We've got the floaties here. Swim cap. Can't go swim without a swim cap, can you? We're good. Goggles so we can see. Last but not least, snorkel. Here goes nothing. Crunch, crunch. What a beast. The ladder's got this. What a legend. Now time for the exit. Ah, baby. Ladder loves it. This thing is a weapon. <laughs> that Zeke looks so tough. Coming down there, it's just awesome. Okay, a little bit of left hand down. Perfect. Yeah, you bang on the line we want. Yeah, okay, fantastic. Okay, left hand down. Right hand down. Love your work. Is it time to go for another swim leash? Perfect. Oh, easy done it, and we are through. That's the water sort of beast, but let's see how that little short wheelbase takes the exit. Okay, back up. Let's get a bit of, little bit of momentum going. Momentum? Okay, Matt, here we go. I reckon that zoo bounced the whole way up there. That is awesome. Keep it running, keep it running. Turn, turn left as you're coming out of that. Yeah. And the zoo's through. Well done, Leash. I'm not sure that your zoo likes water crossings, though. Oh, yeah, that was full on. It was, uh, it was good fun. It's going to be a fun trip. <laughs> but it's all right, it'll make it. <laughs> Now it's time for the British behemoth. Jamie's got a big job here bringing this rig down. Well, that's maximum brakes. <laughs> I'm not really spotting you. <laughs> Hold the lines out, perfect, perfect. That canvas doing well. Yeah, nice. Oh. <laughs> Well, I saw what the other guys have done. I'm in a petrol as well. I don't want no coughing and spluttering like Alicia just did going up there. So I'm going to put the water bra on for safety. You know, there's no point in risking it when you come into a water crossing because you've got to get up the other side. And I've got a trailer on, so I don't want to get this motor and any of the electricals wet right. on it. All right, now the other guys have gone over to the uh, right hand side. I'm going to take the left hand side because my air cleaner's on the left. And I reckon could be a bit better for me just to be on that left. There we go, that's through. That's on the trailer. And then we just idle across, nice and simple. And that should take us across there without getting the, the old air cleaner in the water at all. Now we've got the challenging bit of getting up this hill. Time for a little weight reduction in the rangey after the water. This is where good tyres come into the picture, and Jamie, well, he has muddies, but they're borderline legal, and no tread up, means yeah, no right. traction. Yeah, yeah, chuck it under. You good? Yeah, go, 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 go! Go, go! What sort of vehicle is this? British one. Jamie's not going to get that thing up there with a the trailer on the back. It's just a bit too much weight. So we're going to winch. We're going to use a winch extension strap. We'll have one blanket on the strap, another one on the cable. We'll get him up here in a bit of a jiffy, I hope. All right, JP. Uh, you call it, mate. You're in charge of this recovery. All right, everyone. 
It's very important to keep everyone out of the way in a recovery like this. There are big forces at play and things can go wrong in a millisecond. Glad they bought this rig to pull us out though. All right, well, I could give it a go from here. Good old James, always wants to drive it. Go for it, mate. Give it the berries. You reckon you might have done an axle there, mate? No, I don't think so. It wasn't really driving that hard. It seems like it's working hard, but it's not really. It's working harder than the ladder, mate. Just saying. Right hand down. Got no grip. I don't know what they're all talking about. Piece of cake. No worries. Whew. After a drive like that, it's time to cool off. We are travelling this track in late October, so it's 35 plus degrees up here. Hey Matt, I uh, think you might want to have a drive of this. It seems to be losing power pretty quickly. That's it. Yep, that's... So we've just been through a creek crossing too, so there must be water getting into a connection. Most of it I've waterproofed, but, um, but maybe there's something else going on there. It's getting hot. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to bloom and change this thing, eh? Yeah, I reckon it's time to just yeah. get it done. I'll, um, she keeps cutting out. Yeah, I'll swap it out with the old one, and we'll just go with that. This coil is getting really, really hot, and there's a heap of oil in there, so I'm just going to wrap it up and pop it into the fridge, believe it or not. That's gonna cool it down, and when the other one warms up, we'll pretty much swap them over and we'll continue doing that until we uh, can find what we need to fix the issue. Do you wanna hear about our next door bus challenge? The Simpson Desert, a place that every four driver dreams of crossing. It's a rite of passage, a box that must be ticked, a bucket list adventure. But for our team, crossing the Simo by a normal four-wheel drive? Nah, that'd be too easy. This year, our crew are taking it on or bus style. Back in the 1960s, Red Sprig, along with his wife and two young kids, took on the desert in a G60 patrol. Our crew have been given the task of crossing it in another vehicle that was available in 1962. Jamie and Jess have chosen a stunning Series 2 Landy that's proven itself across the desert multiple times. Borgie and Leash are doing it the hard way in a 1943 Chevy Blitz. Will they get their rigs finished in time to leave for the desert? Will all our hosts make it to the desert? And will they all make it across the desert? I'm not telling you, you've got to tune in to find out. Simo or Bust, the epic four-part series coming to you June 18. Check it out on Channel 10. Joker has taken me centre diff lock out and I didn't even notice. <laughs> Damn it! Lost a bit of gear out my window. <laughs> driving style on this thing. Yes, well, that's a bit bit of a challenge in this thing. All right, in second gear again. It's okay, mate, I'll get your poles. Here's your heart on the gear, mate. 
In good British fashion, step up, step up on this step. The Cape isn't just all about bush bashing though. There are some simply beautiful parts of this track and it's easy sometimes to forget just how beautiful this place really is. Creek crossing here, I'm gonna deploy submarine mode and see how we go. The sun is starting to set, but there's still a few obstacles in our way before we hit the wind lock. Things were going well, apart from the Zook's water issues. Our convoy is on track for a Wenlock camp tonight. And getting the, the, the big trucks through is going to be the challenge, especially the camper trail. Well, you know what, we're about three k's away from where we planned to camp, which is at the Wenlock River, but we've come across this, which is pretty gnarly. Now I'm camping at the bit, they have a crack at this on the ladder, but we're losing light really fast, so I think it might be a wise decision to set up camp here and tackle this one in the morning for breakfast. I'm not sure if these boys will win any awards, but they're not too bad, eh? If you want to see more of Cape York or Bust, make sure you subscribe.